throw down our Confederate flag. Czarland. We got it going on. Biggie smells for me, uh, Slayer, the hooker, Leia, motherfucker, say your prayers. Beach it to a seizure. She don't remember shit. Ah, can't carry that much but I like to spread the blood like mustard. And I suck at building. Beat you to death with weapons that eat through the flesh, and I don't beat you unless my feet looks fresh. But I'm lying, I got a line in my pocket, and baby, I'm just dying to die. I'm ready for war, I'm ready for war. I got machetes and swords, any faggot that said he was wrong. I was heavy as yours, yeah, you met me before. I just didn't have to fall. Damn it, really? Whatever, you know what? I got a better plan. Apparently intersecting with that object a little bit, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay.
Hey, boo boo. We need a half size wall because I fucked up. like that whatever we need some smaller walls that's for fucking sure Look at that. It's fine with like going like that. Weird. Weird. Whatever. Let's just fucking line our shit down. Yeah, I'm, I'm not exactly spending a ton of time building. I'm not entirely sure how I want to lay out my entire base, but it's more for a demonstration. So people understand how it works. Requires wood twice. What the fuck is going on? Let's look at that really quick. What the fuck is going on here? What the fuck? 
structures. What is happening? Wood twice. Oh, it does have wood on there twice. That's funny. Alright, fix. This one has wood twice too. What a weird glitch. This one has wood twice as well. What the fuck is going on? Okay, there's clearly been a bug that had in the database. This does not make any sense. There's way too many duplicates. Weird. Some of them are definitely requiring dual woods. Well, whatever, it's fixed it. Can these structures be destroyed? Yeah, it's just tough. The idea is that if you make your base and shit, man, uh, it's, it's yours. Wood metal. Wood metal. Oh wow, it requires, it really does require wood choice, but it's kind of like bug. Look at that, 6 out of 25, just let me finish that. Definitely some building quirks. Oh yeah, and of course we're working on doors, man, we need doors, duh. Duh, doors are giving guys. Come out. This lets me finish without parts and stone. Stone. So if you guys didn't know, uh, these should kill you, but I think they're bugged right now, so they don't actually stab you right now. Oh, they are stabbing. They're just not stabbing if you're on top of it. Huh. Interesting. So it's not stabbing you if you're directly on it. I guess because you're not really on the spike. So you can walk along your wall. Stack that cheese, got 700 plays. Producer made him take it down, said he had to pay. Open my chat two weeks in a row. So, as you can see now, check it out. So, you can see here that when you're dead in Aftermath, 
you get lots of, uh, oh, the red stuff is just, like, map marking stuff. Um, you have five different spawn options now. You could spawn at proximity, you could spawn at the safe zone, you could spawn at your sleeping bag, you could spawn by your group, or you could spawn at your base. Later, Tyson. So, I'm just gonna spawn at my base. And so I come here at my flag. So this is my little base. Basically, uh, at this fire, I can check it out. So check it out, so you can get an example. So we're standing by the fire, I think we can actually even burn ourselves on this one though, maybe we remove the ability to burn yourself on this one. Yeah, I don't think you can burn yourself on this one anymore. Yeah, can't burn myself on it. But basically, oh my god, this thing's fucking bugged. Oh, maybe I need to get away from it and come back. Alright, never mind. It's not letting me purify on this. It should let me purify on it. Either way, we'll fucking drink it. There. Now, now we're a little bit sick. But it's okay. So, basically, uh, I can also cook my stew. Apparently not. Oh, maybe I just wasn't close enough. I don't know. Whatever. Either way. Cook, stew, bam. Got a metal can. Whatever. Empty water bottle, walk over to our little water station, and we should be able to fill the bottle, yep, with clean water, drink it, fill it, drink it, fill it, drink it, fill it. Pretty simple. Simple stuff. And then, you know, we can go and lay down our gardens. Ta -da, ta -da. <sighs> so, yeah, there's pretty much just some cool stuff with that. Place a couple animal traps. Just like that. And so basically now at our base, we would be collecting meat from animal traps that we can then cook on the fire. We could collect vegetables, some of them are cookable, some of them aren't. We've got our storage container that we can then put crap in that is heavily armored. Uh, so you're pretty much self-sufficient at your base, and then I mean, you can also craft yourself a sleeping bag, which is under survival somewhere. Camping sack. So it's a camping sack, so you just need chemicals, adhesive, and cloth, and so you walk over here with chemicals, adhesive, and cloth. Let's see your chemicals. Adhesive. So basically you make your camping sack and you go and place this thing, it's just like a, uh, it's just like a barricade. And so you're allowed to place one of these per living quarters. So this, this thing's classified as living quarters. Will there be animations for playing bandages, drinking, etc. There are plans for story driven missions or will it be like an ISS? There's no plans for missions right now, man. Um, we've currently got enough on our plate with all the new functionality, only man. And, uh, basically as far as applying bandages and things right now, no. We're not planning on doing that. We want it to be kind of quick style. We might incorporate slow motion for that, but maybe not. We're not entirely sure. So I can basically go like this, and I could even 
set my set my camping sack right on top of my thing. But it's very easy to destroy. As you can see, somebody can walk over and break it very easily. So your camping sack needs to uh, be placed in a place where uh, people, you know, aren't going to really find it very well. Something like that, you know, maybe you... Oh, come on, really? Where? Anyways, they'll never know about it up here. And so then what you can do is you can go over here and kill yourself. Oh, look, a backpack. Oh, cool. Oh my god, I died looting. And uh, I can choose spawn on sleeping bag right here. You can't see it. Uh, so spawn at sleeping bag. Ta-da! And I appear on my sleeping bag. So how fucking cool is that? You know? Personally, you know, I think it's I think it's pretty cool. It's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So yeah. So there's pretty much some awesome shit. So I mean, if the game's not fucking the coolest game you've ever seen, fucking show me what games you're playing. Cause I don't know a game out there that's got all this shit. Plus, dude, we got the PvP mode coming. Maybe you want to do some tournaments, I don't know. We'll just have to see, but we got the PvP mode coming. With, with some special PvP maps. Um, that's gonna be pretty cool. You know, we've been talking about Last Man Standing. There might be a couple tricks up our sleeves. as far as Last Man Standing, but you better believe there's gonna be some really cool cosmetics to come from Last Man Standing. So, uh, yeah, I don't think that there's any cooler survival game out there. There's no game with nearly as much functionality as this. With all the skins that we've got, like, I mean, it just, it doesn't exist. Like, if you guys haven't seen, we've got skins for anybody who's new on the stream right now. Like, if you haven't seen this, check it out. dope skins now. Skins do not drop on death, so when you pick up a gun, you can just have that shit forever. Once you get a skin, man, it's yours forever. We've got this cool blood red orange. Red. Just running down the whole terrain. It's like lava. It appeared tonight. Clearly the artists are up to something. I don't know what this is for, to be honest. We have like 